Good evening, I'm Kay Quinn. A star slew Billiken basketball player is suspended for two months. It's the result of a Title IX investigation at St. Louis University. Five on your side sports director Frank Husamano first broke the story this morning. He's here now with the very latest developments. Frank. Thank you, Kay. Jordan Goodwin was the most celebrated recruit the Billikens have had since Larry Hughes, but he won't play any more basketball for SLU this season. While he was found innocent of sexual assault allegations, SLU found him in violation of school policy related to a Title IX investigation. Because it's a Title IX investigation, the school did not release why he was suspended. We do know Goodwin moved out of his dorm room this afternoon. Jordan made a statement today. I apologize to everyone who has been affected. I'm sad to leave my team, but I look forward to returning to Team Blue in May. Jordan is having one of the best seasons a freshman has ever had at SLU. He recorded the school's first ever triple-double, double figures in points, rebounds, and assists in one game. Last Saturday, he scored a career-high 28 points. Here's his coach, Travis Ford, earlier today. I guess everybody deals with things differently as far as, you know, things like that. I, I, uh, I, 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 you know, I don't get caught up in the word, that part aspect of it necessarily. The Title IX investigation came after three women accused SLU basketball players of sexually assaulting them at a campus apartment. The three other players involved in the Title IX investigation are no longer enrolled in school. The school has not released their names, but we know that Ty Graves, Adonis Enriquez, and Jermaine Bishop are the three who have not played all season long. Okay. And so, Frank, you've been in touch with the Goodwin family quite a bit, and you say they were prepared to fight this suspension if it was for much longer than what it currently sits at? Jordan's father, Tim, had hired a prominent civil rights attorney. And because SLU would not release any of the Title IX documents, Mr. Goodwin personally went to SLU for three straight days, eight hours a day, and typed out on his laptop the investigation to give to his civil rights attorney. Wow. So they were prepared to do anything to clear their son's name. So at the end of the day, the Goodwin family is happy with how this turned out? Well, I think considering the circumstances, getting two months and a chance to return to his teammates and to eventually play for SLU again is not a bad thing. Okay. And we will talk with Jordan Goodwin tomorrow exclusively. All right. Thanks so much, Frank.